for the dark hours when you dare not close your eyes. Our next tale is entitled, I Couldn't Resist You, written by Chris Kaufman and read by David Cummings. My heart pounds. Can you hear it? I can. The blood rush is intoxicating. What I'm seeing right now is so wonderful. Your beauty dazzles me. Everything about you, really. I can tell you're special. You always stay late at school. You're involved. Your walk is full of pep, leaving the house every morning with a face that says, Today is going to be the best day of my life. And you know what? Tomorrow is bound to be even better. How I envy that beautiful face. I've seen you with your friends, smiling, laughing. I've seen how your parents look after you with such pride. You make them so happy. You make everyone around you happy. Most of all, you make me happy. You gave me a reason to continue. Before you, I was on the verge. I was ready to end it all. I had given up. Nothing I did was good enough. No one could satisfy me. But then, like destiny, you came along. You were there at the store. I noticed you picking everything out so carefully. I bet you thought I was just some random person who got behind you in line. You saw me with my alcohol and bread and you let me go first. You smiled your great smile, looked directly into my eyes and sacrificed your precious time for me, a complete stranger. Never before have I received such unwarranted graciousness. You pretended not to notice my stammer. It was captivating. So I waited for you in my car. You didn't even notice me staring, mesmerized by your confident walk, the air of grace in your posture. I giggled at the way you loaded your heavy groceries into that little Honda. I've never seen anything so endearing. But the best part? You didn't even notice as I followed you all the way back to your house. You aren't very observant or careful, are you? I bet you think everyone has something good to offer the world. You don't need to look over your shoulder or check the rearview mirror. You don't even think twice about locking the back door. Your naivete is precious. And your hair, oh lord, your hair is so soft. I've waited months to run my fingers through it. I've seen how you care for it, brushing every night before bed. Beautiful. Even the way you sleep is enthralling. The way you tuck your hand under your face, curled up on your side, the little alarm clock illuminating your body. My darling angel, I hope you know that I really cared about you. I put all your things back just the way you left them. I was so quiet too. I never once woke you from your sweet little dreams. Tonight was different though. I really don't know what came over me. The note in the kitchen about your parents being out of town got my adrenaline pumping. I tried, I really did, but I just couldn't stop myself from getting in the bed. I'll never forget that face. You were terrified when you woke up. None of the others ever screamed that loud. I'm bleeding, by the way. Why did you hit me with the lamp? I wasn't expecting such tenacity. You might have even gotten away if you hadn't tripped down the stairs. That was actually pretty cute. 
You know you would have ruined everything for me? I had no choice but to knock you out. I didn't even want to put the tape over your pretty mouth, but you forced me. You know that, right? I was afraid you'd cry out as I dragged you into your basement, and for good reason. Look, you're trying to scream right now. It's pointless, though. I'm the only one who hears you. God, now you're crying. Why? Why are you crying? Stop it. Stop crying. Stop fucking crying. I can't stand the crying. It looks so weak. Weak and pathetic. Is that really what you are? All the time I spent getting to know you and you turn out to be a worthless, quivering sack of tears. This is how you repay my devotion? Tears? You know what? Now that we're better acquainted, I guess I don't really like you as much. At all. It's a damn shame you turned out to be so rotten. Such a pity. I must compliment your father on his workshop, though. His collection of power tools astounds me. I can almost hear the whine of the motorized blades now. Is that a Black & Decker drill? And the chemicals? Oh, <laughs> oh boy. I doubt you really have a clue, but let me assure you, there's some really fun stuff in those bottles. There's got to be some tarps in here somewhere, and I'm sure those heavy-duty garbage bags will be handy later. I haven't even pried open the cabinets yet. To be honest, I really wasn't planning on staying past dawn, but this night took quite an unexpected turn for the better, don't you think? I do. I'm going to make myself at home for the weekend, if that's all right with... I told you to stop crying.